Hello. I wanted to do a fairly basic trigger video for all of you guys. Since I'm fairly new to ASMR, I wanted to try out some different triggers. I'd love to find out what works for all of you. I know with different whisperers, often people are better at triggering with one type of ASMR video versus another. I know for me there are often whisperers that with like a haircut role play or face brushing might trigger me, but when they do ear to ear, I don't get the same tingles as I might with someone else. So I wanted to try some different things and see what works for you guys. I'd love to hear feedback um, for what's working well for you and other things that you might want to see. And hopefully we can trigger your ASMR here today. So I'll start out, I got some brushes in order to do some uh, face brushing. Um, but I just kind of like the sound of the wood on the brushes themselves. Um, I don't necessarily see this often in videos, but I feel like it's kind of a pleasing sound. I hope it's not too loud for you if this isn't your trigger. I'll do some brushing in a few moments. the tapping sound of wood. things that I liked about the brushes that I bought. Uh, I needed a bunch, so I bought a big bag, but I really like the crinkling sound of this bag. Kind of a nice texture to it. I'm not surprised, but I do kind of get driven by crinkling plastic like this. Something I've discovered and I've explored.
you guys are going to be picking up in like seven hours. It's really noisy outside my apartment. Basically all hours of the day. Traffic going by. So hopefully we won't capture it. Or if we do, it's not too distracting for you. Still working on getting more isolated. So let's go ahead and we'll try out some face brushing and hopefully it's relaxing and sounds nice for you. Go ahead and get your just nice brush. Try brushing on my own skin. I don't know how much you'll hear it. Get a little bit more sound if I do the beard. Just kind of an unusual sensation. Really everyone needs a good beard brushing every now and then, right? The next thing I have for you is a hairbrush, and I used to have a brush kind of like this when I was a kid, actually in elementary school, and I used to really like just the feel and playing with it. You could like push the bristles in, it'd pop out again. That's not the nicest sound, but the sound of the bristles I find really pleasing. When I was a kid, I probably didn't think about the sound so much, or at least I probably did, but not consciously until now when I'm much more aware of how the sounds affect me, but I really do like the sound of the bristles, and hopefully you like it as well.
That's the hairbrush. I hope that's a nice sound for you. It kind of feels nice to do it too. It pulls across your fingers. Kind of a strange feeling. But that's such a good sound. done a couple last things for you. One of them is just, it's actually a leather case for one of the microphones that I have. Um, it's made out of kind of a leather material, um, but I feel like it has just a nice sound when you scratch it. Just a couple last triggers that I wanted to try with all of you. Okay, so I had a couple more things to go through with you in terms of triggers. And the next one is one I actually think is really cool and a lot of fun. And that is the happy dinosaur. Um, you can tell that he's really happy from the expression on his face. Bah. Bah. Uh, but he definitely seems like a very happy dinosaur and I'm sure there are a lot of reasons why he is uh, but one of them is that he has really cool sounds inside of him I don't know what he's filled with but it makes really kind of a neat noise that I think works well for ASMR and hopefully it's something that might work for you guys as well uh, so we'll give him a shot He's not very loud, so let's get up pretty close to the microphones uh, for you to, I think, be able to hear him. Here's Mr. Stegosaurus.
they're also very kind of squishy. Kind of like a stress ball. He's walking. So that's the happy dinosaur. I think if he works well, then we might be seeing more of him in the future. So I definitely kind of like him. He's just something I actually picked up at a drugstore today. It was just sitting on a shelf randomly. Uh, I just kind of caught my eye and I was surprised to find out he kind of had those interesting sounds inside of him. But say goodbye to happy dinosaur for now. Maybe we'll see him again in the future. So the last thing I wanted to do was to try some actual whispering uh, instead of just soft speaking and do a little bit of ear to ear because um, I know that's a trigger that works for a lot of you folks. Um, I'd be happy to share that with you. I basically just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I'm just getting started in ASMR, but I'm so excited because this community has done a lot for me in terms of helping me relax and get to experience the kind of joy of tingling through ASMR. So I hope to be able to give back to you guys and also to hopefully do some interesting new things in role plays that I'm really looking forward to. I'm also really looking forward to getting to know all of you out there, and I really hope that I'll start hearing from you, getting comments as to the types of things that you would like to see me do, and hopefully I can deliver on those things and give you a wonderful tingling ASMR experience. So please do let me know with any comments, things you might like to see, or things that worked well for you in this video. So I very much want to hear from everyone and find out what others are thinking about ASMR and hear any suggestions that you might have and just connect with this wonderful community. I think it's so nice to have something so positive when there are so many negative things right now. And I haven't seen that in a lot of communities, particularly one that I connect with so deeply. So I'm really looking forward to this.